Hi, this is a brief explanation of the hybrid solar photovoltaic system. A hybrid system is called so because it uses both the features of an off-grid as well as a grid-type system. The main advantage of the hybrid system is it has batteries for you to run your appliances even after the sun is down as well as a connectivity to the power utility grid to generate revenue when excess energy is generated. Our sun is the key element of any photovoltaic based energy generation system. It is essential that the solar panel be placed in an area with no shading effects from surrounding objects. The incident sunlight on the solar panel gets the electrons moving to get the DC electricity. The DC electricity from the panels is taken to an enclosed space with sufficient ventilation. In this space, the charge controller, inverter and batteries are placed. As the name suggests, the charge controller primarily makes sure that the voltage is equally divided amongst all the batteries, regulating them and henceforth improving their life cycle. But if the household appliances are switched on, the power is diverted from the batteries to the household appliances and then resumed once the appliance is switched off. The AC electricity from the inverter is connected to the bus bar which has two outputs. One to the consumer loads which connect to the household appliances and other to the bidirectional meter which is connected to the power grid utility. The excess energy coming from the inverter is transported to the power grid utility via the bidirectional meter and in case of shortage energy is imported from the same power grid utility to power the consumer loads. The export and import records are maintained by the power generation meter which is then later on utilized by the authorities to pay the user according to the agreement made. The energy generated by the solar panel is in demand by three components of the entire installation. The first one being the loads within the household. The second one being the battery which has to be charged. The third one being the power utility grid which is demanding an export. So the inverter is configured in such a way so that the loads receives the first priority because obviously the household appliances need energy first. The second priority goes to the battery so that the householder can use the energy from the battery when the sun is down. And the third priority, if any excess energy is left over, goes to the power grid utility. If you are looking for a system such as this one, do contact Hinton Technologies. Our contact information is provided right here. Hope this video was informative. Thank you for watching.